Come join us today at Peppa Pig Theme Park, which is located right next to Legoland, Florida. We haven't been since the media event when it first opened, so this will be our first time during a normal weekday in the summer. We're going to show you how the crowds and wait times are if you need a full day or a half day at this theme park. Legoland did bring back the Awesomer Pass, which includes Peppa and Legoland, at least at the recording of this video, or you can buy a separate ticket for $34.99. Let's go see if you need a half a day or a whole day here. Let's go check it out. You ready? Uh -huh. Yep. Let's okay. go. And make sure to check out our Legoland playlist as well as we have tons of tips, tricks, and information on both parks. So it was $19.99 a ticket if you are a Legoland pass holder. Uh, we just have the Awesome Pass since they did sell out last year. Uh, the Awesomer Pass. This is the first time we've been since it's been publicly open. So we're gonna go see how long wait times are. After walking in to the left is Peppa Pig's pedal bike tour. There is no height requirement for this. And even better, it's under some shade. All right, so this is, of course, like one of the kids' favorite things with the little tricycles, just because it's something we don't have at home, a tricycle, and something fun to do. This is one thing they keep going back to both times that we've been. They just constantly want to go in this area. In the morning, it is a little bit busier when we got there, but at the end of the day, there was hardly anyone around. Look at her go. Okay, their second request is to go build sandcastles over here. They like the little interactive things you can do in between the rides. And then we'll probably go on Dino Adventure and Grand Dog Dog's Pirate Adventure. It doesn't look like there's any long waits either, which is really nice. Might be about 10 minutes maybe, just because, you know, it kind of loads slow. But it isn't bad for a weekday. I'm sure weekends are probably at least double the waits. We have building here and over here. All right, so the kids are gonna go on this. I got the timer going for when it's back this way, how long it takes. I'm gonna guess probably at least 10 minutes. And adults can go on this. I'll put the height requirement. I think it's shorter than 34 inches, then you have to have an adult and kid together. And 43 inches, they can go by themselves. This ride is really cute. You get a good view of the little volcanoes, the palm trees, and of course the dinosaurs. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Eat your vegetables! Eat your vegetables! <laughs> Vanessa wants to ride with me on the pirate boat, so let's go on this and time it. See how long it takes. So this is just a short line here. I might get on this one or the next one. Granddad Dog's pirate boat ride doesn't have a height requirement, but if they're under 43 inches, they do need an adult. It's a super cute theme that basically just goes in circles with the music. We will show the splash pad towards the end of the video. Vanessa's gonna take the GoPro, and now we're gonna go on Daddy Pig's roller coaster. And the minimum height requirement is 36 inches. Let's see how long this line is for the Daddy Pig Coaster. This, of course, is our favorite ride. And you get to go through Peppa Pig's house. They have a playground with the uh, Granny Pig's Garden, too. I really do love this queue, too, because it's of Peppa's house. Of course, who wouldn't want to go walk through that? And they have the little sofa, and you can interact a little bit with the refrigerator and the dishwasher. <laughs> it is so hot. I cannot use my phone camera right now. Like, it tells me, my phone says it's too hot. So I hope the, uh, yeah, I hope the camera camera doesn't do that. Just make sure to bring sunscreen, fans, and sunglasses. Because of 
the show going on. We got to go two times. Two times. That was awesome. That's it goes around to twice. Go again. Everybody was like, yes! Yes, we did it again. So we got four laps around, so it goes twice. We're gonna do the balloons. I mean, there's really no line either for that, but there is a line for the Ding Dong. Peppa Pig's balloon ride has no height requirement, but guests under 51 inches do need an adult. <laughs> Daddy! I'm <laughs> scared! Oh yeah, this is Tom's Tower Tower! Tom's Tower Tower, yeah we can, we can see um, what the Pirate Island Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> From the balloon ride, you get a really good view of Peppa Pig theme park. The theme park is four and a half acres. It's a decent size and there really is a lot to do, especially for the little play areas. And we'll show you a couple of the indoor spots too. I love the look. Like it looks all cartoony looking and it has like a color, dark color outline. Yeah, it does. It looks just like you're walking into the Peppa Pig cartoon. Doesn't yeah. it, buddy? Does it look like a cartoon in here? Yeah. Yeah, we just we were watching TV and we just went into the cartoon. Yeah, we did. And so all like. of the people went in their TV too at the same time of the That's pretty magical. Alright, well we already did most of the rides except for Imagine it. Yeah. Like all of this. Mm-hmm. But the clouds would be cartoony looking too, see? That'd be cool if it had like a cover with clouds, because uh, this place is hot. So we are going to the splash paddle that the kids cool off, and I'm going to get some milkshakes while they play in here. There's changing rooms back here. We're going to get them changed so they can run around. This is the highlight. Yeah, everyone is here because it is a very hot day. It's perfect to cool down in, and there's a couple of slides on the other side, too. So they're going to go cool off. Okay, bye, boys. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Yeah. the milkshake machine was down which is really unfortunate because they were really good last time I think we're just cursed because that happened at SeaWorld too but I'll show you some of the options that they did have when we went to the media event and if you'd like to see the review then check out our video and if you can get yourself some milkshakes for our previous video showing everything at Peppa Pig theme park check out the link in the description she said that they sell ice cream in this little shop, so I'm going to see what they have. Vegetables, cookies, cones, magnum bar, so those are about $4 each. I don't know how it's changed with the last time we were here, because they had a lot of Peppa toy sets. And they still have only Peppa plush. I hope they add some of the friends because I never see the friend plush. Lots of Papa Pig. And little sets for them too, and games. And training pack underwear, blanket, bed sheet, bed sheet, bed set. A little necklace thing. That's actually cute. It's five charms. 18. Little sunglasses. Pop up lollipop. Mini chocolate sandwich cream. Looks like Oreos. Granola bites. Cookies. And little Peppa Pig gummies. Five. So when we first got here at 11, there aren't as many 
kids over here. There's like no line over here, no line in the dinosaur area, and even the. A lot of people saying that. Oh, let's go. We're gonna get going over to Legoland. Okay, so maybe there's a lot of people are using for a half a day park. The later it got, the more empty it got, so if you want the most out of your day, you may want to come a little bit later. But it really depends how much you want to cover, if you want to still go over to Legoland, how many days you have here. Now we're going to go cool off in this little cinema. It plays three different Peppa Pig cartoons, I believe, on Rotate, but it's a really good area just to sit down and relax. What are you ready? Let's go! balloon but there's a ride for this drop tower. Uh, it doesn't look like any, hardly anyone is on the Daddy Creek coaster. I think that earlier you get, it's gonna get a little busy and then later on in the afternoon just kind of dies off. And they have a cute house of mirrors, just a little fun house next to that drop tower. And after 3 p.m. there was nobody in this Granny's Garden play area. I don't know if it was because everyone left or it was just really hot over there, but I was told by the director of operations and from Merlin that they are going to be adding more covers, more shades, so I think that'll really help this park. And finally, make sure to check out this adorable show as well as the meet and greet they meet right after the show. Hello everyone! Hello! Hello George! shouting for you. Where have you and George been? We were looking for Mr. Dinosaur. All in all, it really is such a fun park. The kids have been asking to go since we went the first time. Make sure to check everything out. I would say a minimum of maybe four hours, but the kids could stay a little bit longer if you let them in that splash pad. If you have any questions, comment down below or message us on Instagram. And we just started a Patreon. A big thank you to Maddie for helping support our channel. It really does mean a lot and it helps keep us going. Subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe.